Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Kabbalat Shabbat Services at OneShul.org. Uh, my name is Katsira. I am so pleased to be here with you tonight uh, facilitating this service. It is an absolute pleasure. It sounds like some of you had weeks like mine uh, that were a little crazy and busy. So with any luck, we can use this time to transition into the sacred space of the Sabbath, the sacred time of the Sabbath. <sighs> if you've been here with us before, and I know many of the names in the chat room, so I think most of you have been here with us before, um, I am going to be doing things a little bit differently tonight. Um, I have uh, feeling I'm not going to say creative because on the Sabbath we generally uh, refrain from creation but I am very inspired tonight by the core idea of this of Kabbalat Shabbat of receiving the Sabbath so um, I hope you are open for something a little more flowing and experimental tonight uh, and if there are any special specific parts you want to make sure I hit, pull it from the book, feel free to let me know in the chat room. Uh, this is our service, so uh, it will be flowing and a little experimental tonight, but I'm also happy to make sure that whatever is really important to you, we flow into this. So, <laughs> and apparently, oh, you can see the, the my back room, uh, my front room right now. And yes, there is a bunny and may come hopping through the room. <laughs> so let's begin with lighting our candles. Let's get this turned so you can see the candles. And take a deep breath in as we light the candles, remembering that the lighting of candles in Judaism is a transitional act. It is an act that signifies the human soul, and it is also very much an act that we use to denote gateways in time. That's one of the many reasons we light candles. It is equivalent in many cases to the casting of a circle in other traditions. So as I light the candles, Keep that in mind for yourselves uh, and use the act of lighting of candles as that transitional gateway. Um, bring in as much of the experience as you can if you're lighting them yourselves. Um, I'll try to uh, make sure you can hear as much as you can of this as well. Shechina Elotenu Ruach Haolam Asher Kitshot Nu B'mitzvot Teha Fitzifat Nu Lahanlik Ner Shel Shabbat May our hearts be lifted and spirits refreshed as we light the Sabbath candle. So with our candles lit and ready to cross the gateways, the thresholds into the sacred time that is the Sabbath, we move ourselves 
into the public declaration. I was looking on my way home tonight through the service and didn't want to just go through each prayer. I just somehow felt called to move somewhere else tonight. And Lechanana, which traditionally begins the service, is from Psalm 95. And it's actually a public declaration of rejoicing, uh, which is such an important part of Kabbalah Shabbat is it is a time for us to come together and raise our voices as one. And so what I'd like to do is just read for you the first few words. And we're just going to say these over and over uh, for just a moment, each word. And I want you to think about uh, that word and what it means in a community, and especially in a community like ours where you can see the words of the other people, but you can't hear them. Uh, and what voices you assign to those words that you see on the screen in front of you and the wires that connect us. So our first word is sing, 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 sing. So that is the first thing we are called to do on Kabbalat Shabbat is to sing. And who do we sing to? We sing, we sing a joyful song. So Kabbalat Shabbat is a time where we move into not creating, but with joy and with happiness and with gratitude. And we sing, sing, sing that joyful song, that joyful, joyful, joyful song, song, song. To who? I'll let you pick the name that that is, to the Lord, to Chochmah, to Shekhinah, to the Divine, to Elohim. We sing to the Divine as each of us understands it, a joyful song. Why do we do this? Because we are like all of creation. Kol Haneshama Tehel Al Yah. We are called to sing with our voices a joyful song to the Divine Creator. And why? Because creation exists. That is why we are here. And that is what Kabbalat Shabbat begins to remind us that we are entering a time of gratitude and being present in the here and now and being grateful for the creation and honoring the sacred in the here and now. It's a time to, as much as we can and in our own ways, reflect and be in the here and now and honor the sacred in the here and now. So let's say that first line just all together. Come, sing, sing, sing to the Lord a joyful song. Sing, sing, sing to the Lord a joyful song. Sing, sing, sing to the Lord a joyful song. We begin with that, Lehu Naranina. We begin with that joyful song. And the next several psalms that we usually do are all about singing to the Lord. They're all psalms of joy. And what I'd like to do tonight is I'd like to use our, our singing um, as an act of receiving, because that is the heart of our service, is the idea of receiving the Sabbath. So we're going to do a little word association. I'm going to I have a, a, the visual thesaurus up in front of me. I wish you could see it. Uh, and I have the word receive up. And I'm going to start saying the many, many words that uh, are connected to the word receive. And as I say them, I'd love for you to share in the chat room the first thing they bring to mind for you. Um, triggering what it is that you wish to receive, that you hope to receive, or that you are receiving as you transition into uh, Shabbat. We have receive, we have fate, we have celebrate, we have meet, encounter, convert, welcome, accept, take in, invite, pick up, consider, reckon, Regard, see, view, experience, have, get, incur, find, obtain, 
partake, touch. So think about for a moment all of those many words that are all connected to the word receive, that are all connected to the idea of Kabbalat Shabbat. I'm going to go through them again, almost like a chant. And I'd like, please feel free, share what's ever moving through you, or if you are just moved to take in the moment, I welcome that as well. Feet, celebrate, meet, encounter, convert, welcome, accept, take in, invite, pick up, consider, reckon, regard, see, view, experience, have, get, incur, find, obtain, partake, touch the Sabbath feet, celebrate, meet, encounter, convert, welcome, accept, take in, invite, pick up, consider, reckon, regard, see, view, experience, have, get, incur, find, obtain, partake, touch the Sabbath feet, celebrate, meet, encounter, convert, welcome, accept, take in, pick up, consider, reckon, regard, see and view, experience, have, get, incur, find, obtain, partake, touch, receive the Sabbath feet, celebrate, meet, encounter, convert, welcome, accept, take in, invite, pick up, consider, reckon, regard, see and view, experience, have, get, incur, find, obtain, partake, touch, Receive the Sabbath. So that is what we are doing tonight. We are receiving the Sabbath. We are taking in the Sabbath. We are welcoming and celebrating the Sabbath. We are partaking and touching and experiencing. These are the things that we are asked to do for 24 hours each week. We are not asked to create. We are not asked to create. I have no word there. We are not asked to create. We are not asked to cook. We are not asked to build. We are not asked to think. We are not asked to produce. We are not asked to appoint. We are not asked to make. We are not things to do on the Sabbath. What we have to do is experience the Sabbath, to touch it, to take it in and on ourselves. And one of the first things that we are asked to experience, and especially, I'm not I'm going to say the word feet again, and to fet something, uh, and to celebrate, is the Sabbath bride. Uh, we are asked to envision and, and imagine the Sabbath as the queen coming through to our door, uh, really to bless us and to show that this space has changed. And so that is what we will do next, is to welcome in the Sabbath. Hmm. So what I ask each of you to do, and I would love, is what are your words of welcome tonight for the Sabbath Bride? I will uh, lead us in a little bit of Le Chadodi, um, and I would absolutely love to hear from all of you um, what it is, your words of welcome, your personal words of welcome for the Sabbath Bride tonight. And Ginny, I'm so sorry you're having such a hard time with the services. We definitely have to find a way for you to stream on your Mac better. On your Mac. 
So let us welcome the Sabbath bride and we will see from there. Share those words that you wish to share from your heart of welcoming the Sabbath bride. Lecha dodi likrat kala pinne shabbat nekabila O come, let us embrace and vow. Come, O love, let us embrace and vow to honor the sacred in the here and the now. Expand and contract two sides of the one, the dance of light and dark, the moon and the sun. Lecha do dili krat kala pene shabbat nikabila. The time has come to awaken and to shine our stars reveal our truths and be who we are. We revel in the holy which blesses us with all. From beginning to end we seek to heed her call. Kalapine Shabbat Nekabila. Oh, what are the words that come from your hearts and share with us all what you wish to say? How do you welcome the Sabbath, the bride? And the queen, oh she, who embraces us and makes us clean, come in peace. May your devotion never cease. May we increase precious people, joy, freedom, and release. Lika, lecha, do. Dili krat kala pene shabbat ne kabila. The one who weaves all together caused us to hear both keep and remember infinite oneness. Lecha do dili krat. Kala pene shabbat ne kabila. Let us go to greet the Sabbath, for she is wellspring of blessing, anointed be for the dawn, first to be conceived and last to be born. Lecha do. Dili kra kala pene shabbat ne kabila royal shrine and regal city arise from the tumult and be the change for you have long enough been in the valley of tears and the holy one has tenderness for you lecha do dili krat kala pine shabbat nekavila come in peace may your devotion never cease May we increase, O oh precious people, joy, freedom, and release. And we breathe in the Sabbath 
whether it is scented like incense or scented like the skunk in front of Meimei's house, we welcome in the scents, the sounds, and the sights of the Sabbath. We welcome in whatever the Sabbath brings to us. We welcome it in with joy because we know whatever it is is a message for us. And whatever it is is a message of love and a message from the wellspring of the greatest deep place of blessings. And that even the scent of a skunk has something positive to teach us in the world. Boi kala, boi kala, boi kala, boi kala, boi kala, boi kala. Come, bride, come, bride, come. We welcome you, O Sabbath Queen. Elamalka emana, we welcome you, O Queen. We welcome the transition in this time. We welcome the peace of the Sabbath. We welcome our second souls. We open our hearts to receive the blessings of the Sabbath. We open our minds to think and see clearly. We open our eyes to see the wonders of the world around us. And we open our hands to receive the blessings, to be still and quiet and to enjoy the creation and to rest from the act of co-creating the world each week. Amen. So from Ariv, Aravim, we transition. Well, actually, we really Ahava Rava, Mizmor Shir. Let's take a moment with the concept of Mizmor Shir and Ahava, Ahava Rat. Ahava Rapat, which is the evening version. And I'd love to just talk for a second with all of you and have talk with me about the idea of the great love, Ahava Rabba, Ahavat Olam, the loving of the world, and what that means to you um, and how you experience God. Uh, especially on the Sabbath, for me, I'm so, uh, I'm in love with the idea of the pool of blessings and diving in, that the ocean uh, may not love me, but when I dive into the ocean, I can feel held and loved, even if it's not a uh, consciousness. I'm also drawn to the idea of, uh, especially on the Sabbath, with the Sabbath queen, um, courtly love that the queen loves her people, even if she doesn't know you personally, even if she's never met uh, Melvin individually, or Ahava Lilith, or Meme, or Asher, or Eric, uh, or Tamara, or Yosef, or any of us, that it doesn't even matter that the queen inherently loves her people, that it is a royal we that is larger than an individual love, that the role of a good queen or a good king is to have this love that is beyond any kind of a selfish love, that it is such a pure love for the idea of the people. And they act on the best behalf of the people, even if sometimes it doesn't feel like it's on the best behalf of us, that we know that it is this great love that we are part of. So that is for me where my, where my head is and what I am going to try and enjoy and experience this Sabbath uh, in the chat room if you'd love to share your thoughts about Ahavat Olam, uh, Mismor Shir, or the idea of Ahava Rabba, the great love. Um, it would be wonderful to hear from all of you. And what I will do uh, as you are thinking or writing is I will switch over uh, to Mismor Shir in um, our lovely Ahavarabha prayer book. And I will even tell you what page it is on when I can find it. Mm. That's Havdala. Talk amongst yourselves for just a moment. <laughs> There we go. 
time. This is all about giving thanks. It is a good thing to give thanks unto Hashem, to sing praises unto your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning, your faithfulness every night, with an instrument of ten strings and with harp, with solemn music upon the lyre, for you, O Hashem, have made me rejoice through your work, and I will exult in the works of your hands. Uh, page 42, if you were looking for it. Hmm. Ooh, can I lead you in Holly's Ahavaraba? Yes. How about, uh, in just a moment, we will do that. Let's do, where do we want to put that tonight? Let's do that in just a moment, Mimi. We can absolutely do that. There's Ahavat Olam in here. Yes, we will do that instead of Ahavat Olam. So we're going to move into Mourner's Kaddish now. And I, I always feel so strange shifting to Mourner's Kaddish, but tonight I actually get it. Um, <laughs> interesting when you yourself to play with the liturgy a little, that sometimes things make sense. It is the experience of them that makes them ring for you and sing for you. Um, I'm suddenly so happy to have uh, Mourner's Kaddish right here because I want to welcome in all of my beloved dead. I want all of those who are not with me in body to join me and to be in this space with me and to experience them if even just a taste of who they were and to give them in whatever non-corporeal they are in now a chance to experience the Sabbath once again. So we will move into Mourner's Kaddish. As always, we invite you all to uh, share the names of who um, you wish to bring into the space, those you are in mourning for. And uh, I'm going to use, I'm very excited to have this video again. So I'm going to play this. It's Patrick's uh, video that he created. And I, I want to acknowledge, I haven't been looking at the chat room as quite as uh, much tonight. So I do want to acknowledge that I'm seeing, uh, Tamara, what you just said. I'm uh, sorry that you are going into the hospital tomorrow. Um, uh, not as a patient, that's good. Uh, <laughs> very glad to see that. Um, and that you are have recently been released and that you are feeling better. So we will absolutely make sure at Misha Barach that we include you in our prayers as well. But I'm going to move us into uh, this Kaddish uh, and then uh, please share the names of those that uh, you are praying for tonight and that you wish to bring into this space so they may once again have a taste of the Sabbath. It's on page 43. We'll do the poetic interpretation of uh, Mourner's Kaddish that is on, that is in our Ahava Rabbi Siddur. I send you on with love in my heart, crying tears of joy for the life you have lived, praising the source of life for connecting our lives. I send you on to the next life. I send you on the way you lived, Embracing who you were, not the space that you leave. Praising the source of life for allowing us to love, I send you on to the next life. I send you on without fear, 
I will not curse or rend my garments. Praising the source of life for granting us time, I send you on to the next life. I send you on with praise, singing songs of joy for all creation, praising the source of life for making us flesh and blood. I send you on to the next life. I send you on with libations and toasts, drinking to health and drinking to memory, praising the source of life for giving us words to share. I send you on to the next life. I send you on with stones, not flowers. I will not add death to death, praising the source of life for all creation. I send you on to the next life. May the source of peace bring peace to all who mourn, and let all who mourn be comforted. And let us say, Amen. So we move to the Bar Hu, our call to blessing. We transition now from the formal Kabbalat Shabbat into our Mariv, our acknowledging of the evening. Uh, we've gone from our dusk, our betwixt and between, standing in the threshold, and we have now crossed over. We're leaping over the threshold into the Sabbath, and we move into our Mariv service. Barhu Adonai Hamavorach, Baruch Adonai Amvorach Leolam Vaed. Blessed be to God who is to be blessed. Blessed is to God who is to be blessed forever and ever. Amen. Mariv Aravim, even with the uh, experimental that we're having tonight. I still feel called to do Ma'ari Varavim the way we've been doing it here recently um, during services. Uh, so if you look on, if you have your Ahava Rabbis Ador, it's on page 46. Uh, if you don't have one, there is always uh, at the top of the screen when you can download. It hopefully has page numbers on it for you. But also, as always, you don't need it. You can just look, look at it. You can just listen. Um, so we'll use the text and sort of a chant with it and intersperse that with the refrain from Rabbi Gila Rezel Raphael's Ma'ari Varavim, beginning with that refrain. Evening the evenings, evening the frayed edges of our lives, Ma'ari Varavim. Amen. Blessed are you, O God, our God, King of the universe, who at your word brings on the evening twilight with wisdom, open the gates of the heavens, and with understanding changes times, and varies the seasons, and arranges the stars in their watches in the sky, according to your will. Evening the evenings, evening the frayed edges of our lives, Mariv Aravim, Amen. You created day and night, you roll away the light from before the darkness, and the darkness from before the light. Make the day to pass and the night to approach, and divide the day from night. Evening the evenings, evening the frayed edges of our lives, Mariv Haravim, Amen. The God of hosts is your name, a God living and enduring eternally. May you reign over us forever and ever. Blessed are you, O God, 
Who brings on the evening twilight Evening, the evenings Evening, the frayed edges of our lives Ma'ariv ha'ravim darkness as it comes in. We breathe in the Sabbath as we cross over from the week into our sacred time. And with that, as we cross over into this time, we move into the Misha Berach, the prayer for healing. And we offer up a prayer for all of those who need healing. And please add the names of those in the chat room who need healing um, that you know of, even if it's just you. Shianbalo, uh, Ruchalea, Tamara, Be, uh, I want to say, is that Beymir, Rivka, Liab Brachmiel, oh, sorry, Larry, sick, Tova, Sim, Tova, Sima, Bat Ozer, Vagitel, and Arthur, and all of those many other names that are spoken in hearts who have been on our many Misha Berach lists. We ask for rece receiving of full healing of body and soul for them, Refua Shalema, that they may have a complete healing of their bodies and their souls. Mm, and there are more names that are coming in Diane, Glo, Sango, Moji, and Meme Miriam. We honor all, all those who have courage to ask for healing, and we honor all of those who are blessed with loved ones who pray for healing on their behalf. <sighs> and now, now we move into Ahavat Olam. And we did have a special request for Ahavat Olam tonight. We are going to do uh, Ahava Rabba which is normally just in the morning, but um, as long as no one will be offended, we will do a version of Havarava. Uh, this is one uh, Meme asked for us to do, uh, Taya shares. She's a good friend of this community and has joined us occasionally uh, and allows us regularly to use her music. Um, ooh, actually, hold on a second. I wonder if I can do this. Add music. I don't know if I have this handy. I don't. We will not do that. Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tinu Shachina Elatenu. Oh, I'm about to go into something totally else because in my morning prayers I do something else. Let's try that again. And now we will sing of the great love. <laughs> Ahava Rabba. Ahav Tanu Adonai Eloheinu With an abounding love of Havarava Ahav Tanu Adonai Eloheinu With an astounding love Oh, we shall lift each other up Ooh. As you have lifted us, God Oh, we 
shall lift each other up. Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tanu Adonai Eloheinu, with an abounding love, Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tinu Shechina Elateinu, with an astounding love, oh, we shall lift each other up. What am I doing there? As you have lifted us, God, oh, we shall lift each other up. Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tanu Adonai Eloheinu, with an abounding love, Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tinu Shechina Elateinu, with an astounding love, oh, we shall lift each other up. As you have lifted us, God, oh, we shall lift each other up. Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tanu Adonai Eloheinu, with an abounding love, Ahava Rabba, Ahav Tinu Shechina Elateinu, with an astounding love, oh, we shall lift each other up. As you have lifted us, God, oh, we shall lift each other up. <sighs> May May, thank you for requesting that. That felt so right after the Misha Barak, even if I was skipping keys repeatedly in there. I'm so glad Taya wasn't here tonight to hear that. <laughs> oh, we shall lift each other up as you have lifted us, God. We shall lift each other up with an abounding love, with an astounding love. Oh, yes, Mimi, thank you so much for, for recommending that. I'm going to have to try and have that track ready next time <laughs> so you can hear it in key. <laughs> oh, so now we move into our Shema. Oh, it is that time we move into the Shema. So for the Shema tonight, let's breathe the word. And as we breathe the words, try to think about what they mean. Shema. Listen. And think about who are you saying listen to. It's a command. Listen. Are you saying it to yourself? Are you saying it to the divine, to God? Are you saying it to all the heavenly hosts? Are you saying it to everyone else in the community? Are you saying it to everyone? So with each word, let's think about what it means and what it means to us individually tonight. And we are a tradition of the we. We are the community, the people, Israel. So think about what it means not just for you as an individual, but what it means for you as part of the people of Israel and how you relate to that. And we'll breathe these words out. Shema. Listen, Yisrael, God wrestlers. Listen, Shema Yisrael, Adonai, listen, God of the God wrestlers. Listen, Israel, God is God. God is our God. 
And God is one, is of the one, is only one, is the only one. So many ways that we can spin these words, so many different ways to put them together, all of them meaning different things to each of us in our hearts and to each of us as a community. And if we look at Ahavta, where we are commanded to love, again, love the divine God as we experience it with all our hearts and all our minds and all our souls. And we are told to bind those words on our wrists and wear them as signs on our foreheads. They are to be visible. We are to be proud that we are people of God, that we are God wrestlers. It's a scary thing. It's a difficult thing to put yourself out as a person of faith. And we're told to wear visible signs for people to see and for us to see of that. And if we look at Vishamru, all of this, all of this arc of our service tonight leads into this, this idea that the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant. It is a sign, and again, a visible sign, a visible sign between me and the children of Israel that in six days, God made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day, God ceased from work and resting. And because we are part of God, we are the hands of God. We are the body of God. And because we are this, we have to follow this pattern too, to ensure that for six days a week, every week for eternity, the world is created. And then on that seventh day, God rests because we have rested. So with that, if you have your prayer book, page 50, you have my thanks, God, my God, the God of Israel, the God of our ancestors, God of Abraham, God of Sarah, God of Yitzhak, God of Rivka, God of Yaakov, God of Leah, and God of Rachel, Lord of the universe who has established what is good and who asks that we follow your example and live in love beyond titles, male, female, you are our protection. You are blessed, shield of our fathers and mothers, shield to us all. Lord of the universe, teach us our minds and our hearts. And after teaching us, forgive us. After forgiving us, be patient with our weaknesses. Patient one, make our lives worthy and after making us worthy, heal our bodies. After we are healed, bless us. After we are blessed, bring us together. After we are together, judge us with mercy. After judging us, defeat our evil and the evil of our world. After defeating evil, help us create what is good. Now that we are holy, make the whole earth holy. Accept our prayers continue to improve what we are. Baruch Ata Adonai Ha'el HaKadosh. You are blessed, our holy God. Brucha At Shechina Osaha Shalom. You are blessed, our God, who creates and maintains peace. Baruch Ata Adonai Shomea Tefillah. You are blessed, our God, who acknowledges when we call out. And we do call out, and on this Sabbath we call out, not with requests, but with praise and with joy and with acknowledgement that we are the moving parts, we are the flow, and we are the hands of the divine. And that is why we must rest as the hands and the body of God. If we don't rest, then God can't rest. 
And so think about that in the next 24 hours in everything you do, that you are the platelets, the blood, the micro microbia. You are that flow that makes up the body of God as is everything else in our world. And so that is why, at least for this Sabbath, we are called to rest. By resting, we enable God to rest. By resisting the act of creating as much as we can manage, we allow God to rest so we may better co-create the world in the next six days to come. Hmm. So that's what I received tonight. That's my receiving of the Sabbath. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for being a part of Wunschel. Thank you for being a part of the Punctora community. Thank you for choosing to be chosen. Shabbat Shalom. May you have a Sabbath of rest, of renewal. May you have a Sabbath that brings you peace in body, mind, and soul. May you have a Sabbath that allows you to rest and then take your place again in the week to come as the hands of God in the world. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashavet, Malachi Ayam, Mimala, Malachi Amachim, Hakadosh, Baruchu. Peace to you, angels, angels of peace. Peace to you, angels, angels of peace. Come in peace, angels. Bless us with peace, angels. And when you go, angels, go in peace. Shalom, Malachot Shalom, Malachot El Mi Malka, Malchot Hamalchot, Ila Abruhahi, Barchut.